Hey guys, Chalk Tornado Reptiles, Tortuga Ranch, and I'm here with some of my best friends, Eastern Box Turtles. I just love them. I always did, and I always will. I've been having Eastern Box Turtles for at least 30 years. Put it this way, when I moved to New Jersey, I had my Eastern Box Turtles with me. I had already acquired my Eastern Box Turtles. And that was 25 years ago. And the first thing I did was put them on my permit here, and I've had them ever since. And they've just grown and grown and multiplied and multiplied and multiplied. Show some of my friends, please. They're, they're out walking around. feed and care for my eastern box turtles because people often ask me what do you feed them I feed them a lot of things throughout the year first of all I keep a lot of natural food in here there's a lot of worms there's a lot of bugs insects that they want to eat there's a lot of tadpoles that come from nature frogs come from nature and they just lay all their eggs uh, hey you know what while we're while, while we're here get a glimpse of that spotted turtle on the on the log for them see if you can zoom in on that and then zoom back out so I don't look like a uh, Grimace from Sesame Street. There's another one on that log there. Anyway, come back to me. I want to. I want to. I'm gonna try not to. I have a habit of making these videos go way too long because I have, uh, I guess, ADHD, and any little thing just catches my attention, and I go to it. So I'm gonna try and stick. So in preparation for this video of how I care for and how I feed my animals, I did. I'm gonna do a feeding. Okay, so. But I also pulled some animals aside to put them in here because I want to tell you something about box turtles. When you buy a baby eastern box turtle and you take it home and you stick it in the tank and you buy that UV light and everything that you need and your calcium, you know, so that it can work with UV light to get into the boat, nothing works like this. Nothing works like God intended. Nothing works like nature. Nothing works like natural UV. I've always kept my animals outside. Fortunate, I've been fortunate enough to always have property that was big enough that I could always have turtle ponds and pens even when they were little. I raised them outside. I pulled a couple animals aside. So I stay right there, I'm gonna pull them out. But I pulled a couple animals aside to show different stages and different life stages of the box cutter. So first thing we have here are a couple of babies. The first little baby has just been hatched. He's ground hatched. But I pulled him out of the hole, and so he probably could have sat in there a little. You see that there? That's his little, um, bil uh, his little uh, sack, his own umbilical sack there. And uh, so he's not going to eat anything until he absorbs that fully. This little guy's been out for a little while. Okay. He has no sack. He's absorbed it completely, and he's eating night crawlers right now. I don't keep these outside just yet. I do raise them inside. I guess for the first six months or so. Now it's late September, so we're getting into October. So these guys aren't gonna go outside until spring. But I'll do another video on how I keep them inside. The only reason why I keep them inside when they're this tiny is because everybody wants to eat them. You got bullfrogs in here that wanna eat them, crows, anything. Any little animal that comes around wants to eat them. So we'll talk about them little babies in another video. But I have some that I raised up out here of different sizes to show you. First we have this one. This is probably, and the reason why I pulled them aside is because if you try and find a box turtle when you want to, you're not gonna find it. So I pulled them aside so I have them. First is this little guy. You see how small he is? He's about three inches. And I'm gonna say he's probably about two years old probably in his second season. Here's an animal that's been in his third season. Now I want to show you something. Look how perfect the shells are. Okay? This is the one that's probably in its fourth season. Maybe even fifth. Maybe might even be five years old. So you have these animals right here and all the shells are the same. Absolutely perfect. Flawless. No pyramiding. No, no no curling. Box turtles tend to have like curling on the back margins here when they're kept inside. That's not very healthy and that's kind of signs of metabolic bone disease. 
It's a big time back tire for the bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna really try and control my ADHD. I'm really gonna try. All right, so just stay focused on, on the box turtle. Box turtle truck, okay. So these guys, the reason why, why are their shells so nice? Because they live out here, because they live in nature, because they've been with me, okay? These are my animals, I've produced them, I've raised them, and they've been with me ever since in this pen, where essentially, they're, I mean, they're not free, but essentially they're, they're, they have all the benefits of like a free turtle, you know, like they get all that UV. And then here's another one. So here's the one that's about five years old. And then here's one that I would say is about maybe six. Again, perfect shell, perfect shell. They all tend to look kind of the same. I think they're from the same now. But if you look around, look, we have breeding. So in, in, in late uh, September and October, they'll be breeding. They also breed again in June. Um, but you know what, take a little walk around just do one little lap real quick because I don't want the video to be too long. And you can see all the all the box turtles walking around. You can see that one's interested in something. I don't know what it found. It might even have found a baby. We'll have to go see the baby. Take a little walk around the pen. Hello, buddy. And a box turtle is just so used to us from over the years and it's just so used to me. I love this guy. This guy looks like Halloween. Let's take a little, let's, let's do a little, little premiere. Come here, baby. Oh my God, my little baby. Get you wet. Look at that head. That sucker looks like Halloween time, doesn't he? Just orange and black. Orange and black legs. Oh my God, I would kiss you. Mm. Okay, let's take a walk around and see the others. And they love water. They absolutely love water. If you have a box turtle pen, if you're fortunate enough to have enough ground to have a box turtle pen like this, please have a water feature. Please have a water. Look, see how they hide naturally? They dig these little furrows. Do some more breeding over here. All right, follow me. Let's get to this feeding because otherwise we're not going to get to it. Look. There's two baby spotted. You gotta, you gotta catch the little spotted. You gotta catch the spotted. I love them. So I keep spotted with the box turtles in this pond, and they seem to go have very, very well. Okay. Come here, Sally. Stick with me for a second, Sally. Okay. So what do I feed them? So. The bulk of what they eat, the bulk of what my, my Eastern box turtles eat is Missouri aquatic turtle diet. Before Missouri, the bulk was reptimin, which is fine, okay? But the bulk is Missouri, okay? Let's put these little babies right here because we're gonna take them back in the house. This is one pound of raw ground turkey. I always add a little protein just to kind of beef them up a little bit and uh, give them a little bit of uh, a little something for going into winter time too. So I'm gonna take my Missouri and I'm gonna dump it in there. I already know what you're thinking. Why so much? That's a huge amount. Guess what? I have two pens with box turtles and one pen with North American wood turtles and they all eat the same food. So the North American wood turtles are gonna eat this too. So I take my, um, my, my Missouri aquatic turtle diet, which, uh, you know, where we get Chewy, mm -hmm. something like that. <laughs> Don't even make me have to bite this thing. <laughs> my, my hands are dirty, so I don't want to. I don't want to stick it in my mouth. This this container. I'm gonna give them some peas and carrots. They love their veggies. We'll give them some peas and carrots in there. Okay. Again, I'm making a batch. I'm not just making you know for a couple turtles here. I'm making a, a batch for a lot of turtles here. Guess what? Shells and all. Okay, boom. <laughs> All right, what I do is uh, I just mix it up a little bit, squinch up the shells in there. Squinch, that's not a word, is it? Squinch it up? I don't think so. How do you squinch? Look, look, this is how you squinch up. This is how you squinch up. All right, and then um, one pound of turkey. 
Okay. I'm going to put some, wrap them in just because I just like it and I think they like it. Put a little bit of that in there. Okay. Calcium. I'm going to add calcium. Calcium is for bone growth, bone development. Um, I'm adding calcium. I mean, they, they live outside, so technically there is calcium in their food, so you don't have to do it, but there's a lot of females, and uh, they produce a lot of babies for me. So, um, keeping that in mind, I'm gonna put some calcium on. Plus, everybody gets nice, good shells from calcium. So now we got all our stuff here. We're gonna mix it all up. Oh, that looks good. It's like a meatloaf. It's like a meatloaf for the turtles. Look, look, get a look at this one. He's coming over already. <laughs> She's coming over. She's like, hey, buddy. Hey, 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 daddy. Where's my food? Got some food for me, daddy? I know. Yeah. Okay. So we got a meatloaf going on here. This actually smells good. It does. Let me see. What's it taste like? I don't think so. <laughs> I think Sally will we'll go to Cheeto Burrito. I don't think we're going to eat this. But um, I think that the turtles are going to love it. So, so now, all right, I don't want to be controversial here because some people feed on a plate. I don't, I just kind of, I just put the food down. So look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some food on the ground right there. Okay. And they're going to come shortly. Well, don't say that. Did I? Come here. Here, look. They're gonna find it. They're gonna they're gonna find it and they're gonna come and they're gonna eat. But in the meantime, right now, I'm gonna take the rest of this food and I'm gonna feed the North American wood turtles. Keep it rolling. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. What Bob Barker say, come on down. Get down. Get down. Look, we got a female diamondback carabin right there. See now that the. Uh, the Missouri food floats, so she'll get in on that. Come here, come on down here with me. This is, this is not what I feed to Diamondback Caribbean. This is terrestrial turtle food, land turtle food. Not tortoises, land turtle food. Okay, so what we got here, we got some, uh, I see they, 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 they left some of their celery from yesterday. So we'll put this in there. I just, I just, you know, I just throw it in. All right, let's go feed out this last pen down here. And it takes them a minute to find it. They will find it. It takes them, you know, a little bit of time and probably I'll still walk away, but they'll, um, they'll come over when they feel real comfortable. And they'll eat it. Yeah, they'll, they'll be over. There's no doubt in my mind. How pretty this spot is look. You got one on that log over there, one there, one here. We got a nice big yellow female right there. Look at that yellow male walking away right there. He's so pretty. All right, here, put the camera on. Okay, we're gonna end the video here. We're gonna end the video here. But guess what? I'm gonna make another video on how I care for baby boxers. Okay, thank you. Thank you for choosing to watch me for a little bit of your time.